fucked up, dude. Are we, are we changing the subject? To that hell yeah. What's the subject? All right, Big Billy B. That's right. Now it's all about me, and I want to talk to you guys about my vacation. Yeah. Oh yeah, you were gone for a while. Fuck yes, I was. I um took like a week and a half off work, and I went to Austin, Texas, and I yeah. was there for a few days, and then we road tripped to New Orleans. Then we came back to Austin, Texas, and then I flew back to Chicago. Awesome. And, dude, oh my God. So fucking, have you guys ever been to Austin, Texas? We went together. Yeah, we went to uh, Psych Fest. How long ago was that? Uh, 2014. That, really? Okay. Only three years ago? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. That's, That's when I started dating Kelly. Aww. So, I don't, you guys were at Psych Fest, so I don't know if it was the same sort of experience. But the time I spent in Austin taught me a few things. One, they put cheese sauce on fucking everything. With that in mind, never have I seen such a dense population of such beautiful women. <laughs> Definitely. And I like it's so granted my eyesight's not really all there, but I can still make out basic shapes. So they're that beautiful that you see them. That, well, I can make out body shapes, and I know that considering how much cheese sauce they're eating. They should not are, be as are slim. Th- are they covered in cheese? <laughs> Only in my dreams, baby. Only in my dreams. So that was fucking wild. Also, I learned, and I don't know if you guys experienced this, people in Texas don't know how to fucking talk. Like, even on my flight to Austin, and every person with whom I spoke while in Austin spoke very quietly. Like, they, like, fucking whispered. Really? And it was really fucking weird. Yeah. Did you not... You know, no, well, not at all. well, I, when, I didn't notice that. I don't know if it was with you or no, no. It was when I went with Adela, and we were rooming with Magic Castles. Every like near the end of the trip, because I think they thought they were gonna offend me. They said that I I sound really, I got a really bad Chicago accent. Really, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what is the? I don't. I, when I think of Chicago accent, I think of like Chris Farley with the. Oh yeah, that's fucking weird. The bears, the, the bear, you know. Oh, some sausage and so the clubs. What are, you, what are you doing? Yeah, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, that's oh, yeah. that's not me. And then and then I think they did like a like a Jersey accent, you know. Yeah. And I'm like, no, that's that's I'm pretty sure that's New Jersey. <laughs> and at the end of the cover, they're just like, Phil, you just sound like you want to start a fight every minute. <laughs> like, oh. Which isn't too far from you the truth. You want to fight about it, <laughs> that, right? Uh, I mean, you, 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 what are you saying here? <laughs> I just <laughs> let's see. There you go again. Always starting to start a fight. All right, all right. So let's just let's cool it. Uh, film. Enough, enough of that. Enough. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, awesome. so what do you? So they don't know how to talk because they whisper. Well, one they whisper, and I just had so many of these roundabout fucking conversations. Uh, same thing, no one knows how to drive. What do you mean, around about, like, they're just repetitive, same subject? Like, they don't understand what you're asking, and you don't know how to explain it any clearer. Like, that sort of shit. Like, I... And that really wasn't, like, the majority of the interactions, because the, most of the people in Austin are not from Texas, they yeah. can kind of tell, like, the locals. Because it's the weird Austin. <laughs> exactly right. Keep Austin weird. Um, but, no, just... It's Portlandia in Texas, pretty much. Uh, I've never really seen Portlandia, but that's that's the impression I gather. But there's... So I have a coworker who's from... No. No, I'm not going to talk about him, because he might what? listen to this. And I don't <laughs> want to offend him. But, like, I... A lot of times I have difficulty understanding him, and I went to Texas, and I was like, oh, this makes total sense. He's from Austin? He's not from Austin. He's from Dallas. Okay. I'm just grouping it all together as a Texas thing. And the people with whom I was staying said, oh, yeah, people in Texas don't speak well. And I'm trying to think who Texas. uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Paul Wall. um, ZZ Top. Woody Harrelson. Um, Pantera. Yeah. Oh, I can't understand what the fuck Phil's saying. Ever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's because uh, he's a heroin addict. Well. Or or, they, or recovering, which is well, worse. I think it's, well, I think it's a Texas thing more so than a heroin thing. 
Mm. I think the Texas thing came first, and then the heroin just made it much, much worse. I I, I think the Texas made it much worse. It was the heroin <laughs> for... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it's a chicken or the egg sort of situation. Yeah, yeah. But... So I saw Thrill Kill Cult when I was down there. Yeah. At this gothic nightclub. And it was fucking awesome. It was a really cool venue. Yeah. And you can get drinks at shows for like five or six dollars. Yeah. Which is unheard of in fucking Chicago. Like if you're at the House of Blues, you're paying like eight dollars at least for a beer. And it, it blew my mind. What, Plus, what was the name of it? The Elysian Nightclub. Okay. And so we go there and everyone is dressed head to toe in black and i'm the one asshole wearing my tie-dye fair the well grateful dead shirt and i was like ah oh, fuck so i just as if the cane didn't make me stick out enough like <laughs> i was the only asshole in tie-dye and so i went to merch and i wound up getting a t-shirt because i was like i want to fit in i want to be cool what shirt did you get was it the tour one the 30th anniversary okay with the green and the eye and yeah things uh, super cool shirt, and I was so excited to wear it the next day. So my friend and I went out for breakfast to a place called Biscuits and Groovy. Yeah. And I was wearing my black Thrill Kill Cult shirt to show it off, and we go to this breakfast place, and fucking everyone there is wearing tie-dye, and I'm the one asshole wearing black. And it's like... <laughs> you never fit in, Bill. <laughs> I, fucking forget it. It doesn't matter how hard I try, man. You I just, get out of Austin. That I stick out like a sore thumb. Uh, so that was fun. We spent a lot of time at this bar called Baker Street, which is a Sherlock Holmes themed bar. Sherlock. <laughs> yeah. Do people dress like that uh, old N- English or no? They don't do fucking anything. The only reason it's oh, Sherlock it's because the theme, decoration. Yeah. Th- what am I? Not, no, not idiot. even the decorations. Just the stupid name because Sherlock oh. Holmes, I guess, lived or his detective office was on Baker Street. Oh. And in Texas? No, no, in England. But this bar was Sherlock wow. Holmes themed. But the only thing that it had in common with Sherlock Holmes Mm -hmm. was the stupid name. So it's like, oh, cool. I'm at a Sherlock Holmes themed bar. Yeah. I'm going to drink a Lone Star. You know, it it was so funny. And so our stupid joke was, there's mysteries to solve. We must go to Baker Street. And so we would just go there and get plastered. And it was great. And again, cheese sauce on everything. Fraser episode here. (laughs) Exactly right. You're fucked up, dude.